three, four. Herbie, this way. Yeah, lots has changed. I mean, there wasn't the vapor store, and uh, pretty sure those condos weren't there. Pretty sure those condos weren't there. Masonic Temple always stays there, though. 888, you want cross? My first Toronto gig was where I'm sitting, which was Motorhead and Helix. You're 13, living in the suburbs, and you see a long lineup of mostly people in leather jackets. And I remember the attendance was actually 564, because I read the review in the paper. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's an 1800 cap venue. I was, I was thinking about numbers back then. Now Magazine used to be my Bible when I was starting off in my first band, Head, with two H's. I'd pick up a copy of Now Magazine and go immediately to Gigs Announced. And then I'd pick up the phone and call Elliot Lefko to find out like if my band could get on the bill for Dinosaur Jr. or Stone Temple Pilots or the Lemonheads or my buddy Valentine, or, you know, all these iconic bands that I had the chance to play with in the early days. You can't put your finger on what works about a band. We were making feel good loss. You know, we'd run into you know, my friend at the grocery store and so it's like, oh, don't you play harmonica? It's like, oh, why don't you come up? We're just recording on an 8-track in Kevin's basement. It's kind of an all-encompassing thing with collaboration, and it's always rooted in friendship before a band. Work with people who inspire you and get yourself in situations that are inspiring. If it, if it feels real and it feels like it's something, then it should be motivating.